In today's video, let's see the regulation for firefighting arrangements on ship. The information in this video is sourced from Solus, Chapter 2-2 Under Regulation 10 for Firefighting. The following regulations are generally applicable for the ships constructed from 1st of January 2020. The following subjects are covered in this regulation. First Purpose Second Water Supply Systems Third Portable Fire Extinguishers Fourth Fixed Fire Extinguishing Systems Fifth Fire Extinguishing Arrangements in Machinery Spaces Sixth Fire Extinguishing Arrangements in Control Stations, Accommodation and Service Spaces Seventh Fire Extinguishing Arrangements in Cargo Spaces Eighth Cargo Tank Protection Ninth Protection of Cargo Pump Rooms and Tankers Tenth Firefighters Outfits Let's see in detail Purpose the Maritime and Coast Guard Agency has published a list of requirements for fire extinguishing systems to be installed on ships constructed on or after 1st of January 2016. These include open-top container holds and on-deck container stowage areas on ships designed to carry containers. Water Supply Systems Ships shall be provided with fire pumps, fire mains, hydrants and hoses complying with the applicable requirements of this regulation. Fire mains and hydrants General Pipes and hydrants shall be so placed that the fire hoses may be easily coupled to them. Suitable drainage provisions shall be provided for fire main piping. Isolation valves shall be installed for all open deck fire main branches used for purposes other than firefighting. Ready availability of water supply, passenger ships. Administration to determine provisions for fixed water fire extinguishing arrangement for such spaces equivalent to those required for normally attended machinery spaces. If pump starts automatically or if bottom valve cannot be opened from where pump is remotely started, the bottom valve shall always be kept open. Ready availability of water supply at cargo ships. Water must be delivered from the fire main system at a suitable pressure, either by remote starting of one of the main fire pumps or permanent pressurization. The administration may waive this requirement for cargo ships of less than 1,600 gross tonnages if the fire pump starting arrangement in machinery space is in an easily accessible position. Diameter of Fire Mains The diameter of the fire main and water service pipes shall be sufficient for the effective distribution of the maximum required discharge from two fire pumps operating simultaneously. In the case of cargo ships, other than those included in paragraph 7.3.2, the diameter need only be enough for the discharge of 140M cubed per hour. Remaining subjects will be discussed in upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. Please share with your friends and subscribe to Marinora for more such videos. If you have any queries or comments, drop it in comment box.